Hey everyone, it's Lewis Banks with Bubbaville Auto Network. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We have a lot of great content coming up. Today we just decided to get some footage at a car show in Webster, New York. We honestly love moments like this, where we can get out, especially on nice days, and film as these car owners display the automobiles that they worked hard and paid a lot of money to put together, or that they purchased and displayed it as is. Hey, do us a favor. If you see a car in this episode that you think you know the name of, write the name of the car in the comment section. Write as many as you can. We had the privilege to talk to a lot of great car owners at this show. Here's an example of an incredible couple, really fun to talk to, with the 1955 Studebaker Commander. Check them out. Dave and Sandra Slaberski. So this is a 55 Studebaker Commander. Uh, my wife bought it for me for my 16th birthday four years ago. I had one in high school, had to sell it, and she saw the pictures I had on it. And so she found this in North Carolina and surprised me with it, and it's a fantastic car. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to surprise him with it. <laughs> had to get transported up here. We, we hid it in a friend's garage in Brighton. We live in Rush which is as far away from Brighton as you can get. And it stayed there for about a month until I just sort of spray it on him one day with a picture and the title. And then about a week later, we were able to go out to the friend's garage and he started it up for the very first time. What color was the one that you had? It was creamsicle. It was a nice white and orange two-tone. Yeah. That's yeah, what he calls it, creamsicle. Yeah. Yeah. First car, special. drove it in high school. I graduated high school in '76. I had it in '74. So yeah, you're pulling in. You know, all the teachers are looking at your car. Yeah. You know? And I, got, I bought it for 500 bucks. What's your favorite thing about the car? Well, when you get inside, and it's got that smell of like I'm in my studio maker again. The <laughs> flashback. Okay. So the other thing is, um, this gentleman uh, built this car after 17 years. He sold out. The one he had from his wife before she passed away, kind of a little guilt factor. So he built it, but what he did is he put in uh, a 283 Studebaker motor that GM still made in Canada. So this thing here is hopped up a little bit, so I can hit the gas, burn tires. It's still original, but it's a little bit more reliable, but it still looks pretty slick and original. So it's, uh, it's just a sweet ride. People just love seeing it. They're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and Studebaker was ahead of their time with design. So yeah. It's too bad. So yeah. there's a, a couple things there. What else we got? Two band here. Here's Jake out. We got three, four, five different vendors here. Play the 50 band today. Grab something to eat. DJ Bobby Rocker playing music between sets. And we'll take your requests. A beautiful car on the outside and under the hood. I want to thank this beautiful couple for this interview. Let's move on to a couple more cars. Let's go. Let's go. 